What's going on, Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from danthepixarfan.com, and I'm back with another flashback review taking you all back to 2001 once again. And today I'm taking a detailed look at a somewhat lesser known line of Monsters Inc. figures from Hasbro, which are these non posable 1 to 1.5 inch tall minifigures that came in blind bags called Fright Packs. Three of these minifigures came in a pack, and there were 36 monsters to collect total, which are all right here. This is the complete collection. Now, I didn't actually get these back in the day when they came out. Out. I actually tracked them down on eBay like in 2013 or so once I learned they existed so quite a few years ago now but obviously not as far back as when they were released basically 20 years ago. I have heard that these were available at the Disney store when they came out in 2001 but I'm not sure if they were exclusive there or distributed to other stores as well so definitely let me know if you had any first-hand experience collecting these when they were originally available. It's honestly pretty cool that these came in blind bags as frustrating as it probably was to get them all back in the day at the time of their release since these came out long before the current craze of mystery blind boxes and blind bags so it's just kind of cool I guess these were kind of ahead of its time in that sense so this is a checklist that came inside each fright pack and it's got an image of all 36 characters on the front here and then a written numbered checklist on the back as well and then this is what the actual packs looked like if you were to get them in the store again I had to grab these photos off various sites online like I said I never purchased them in the actual bags and honestly even if I had I most likely wouldn't have had a picture of them now um, from back then regardless. Anyway, something I find really interesting about this collection are all the early names or nicknames of a lot of the characters here, basically before any real supplementary material. So for a while, this was all we knew as far as the character names for some of the more obscure characters. It's just so funny how literal the names are like Muscle, Eye Hand, Arm Guy, Blinky, Jaws, Two Legs. It totally reminds me of vintage Star Wars figures with their literal nicknames like Hammerhead, Walrus Man, Yak Face, and Snaggletooth, Prune Face, and so on, uh, which a lot of fans still refer to them as to this day. At this point, all of the monsters' true names have been revealed, so when I list them coming up here when looking at each one individually, I'm going to include their updated real official names underneath as an AKA, just so you know. I'm also not going to be looking at the figures in numbered order, I'm just picking them up off the table randomly, so I'll be noting their numbers as well as I go along. Okay, let's dive into all 36 figures here, starting with number 3, Mike Wazowski Smiling. Very basic mic pose and sculpt. Then we have number 13, Sully waving. Again, this is your very basic Sully sculpt. Number 30 is Water Noose. Number 26 is Ted Pauly. It's a top scarer, of course, at Monsters, Inc. Number 17 is Roz, who is always watching, always. Then we have Mike Wazowski, Scream Canister, number 33, straight out of this moment in the film. Then we have number six, which is Little Mikey, of course, Mike's little childhood plush monster. And then we have Smitty Baby, number eight, AKA Baby Smitty. My wife and I absolutely love Smitty Baby. Then we have George Sanderson, number 22, who is a top scarer. We got that sock detail again. So great. And number 27, this is Sully again in a scaring pose. Then we have number 18, Mike Wazowski, Worried. Number 28, George Sanderson, shaved. We got the band-aid detail there. Number four, Blinky, AKA Stuart. Stuart is Harley Gerson's assistant. Number 19 here is the Yeti, and he looks to be holding like a can of purple paint, which is kind of weird. It should be yellow snow cones, but who knows, maybe this was from a cut moment from the film. Number 31 here is Jaws, also known by his real official name, Ricky Plasuski. He's a top scare at Monsters, Inc. Number 36 here is this CDA agent, number three. And this was the closest design I could find to this look in the film. Then number 21 here, Thaddeus Bile. Of course, his friends call him Phlegm. <laughs> number 32 is the shift manager, AKA Jerry Slugworth. I love his seven-fingered hand detail there, which is accurate. 
Number 10 is a really clever one. This is Randall Boggs Clouds. This is when he disappears in front of the Andes Cloud wallpaper Easter egg in the film. Then we have number 15 here, the newscaster or news anchor. And this looks like it could be an earlier design of the character in the film since he does have glasses here. But other than that, he does look pretty similar. Number 12 here is Figus, or his official name, Zach, and he is Ricky Plasowski's assistant. Number 24 is another clever Randall variant, which is Randall Boggs Bricks, which is, again, when he's kind of practicing disappearing in front of different backgrounds. And here is Celia, number 25, and she is tiny. She's probably the smallest of all the figures here. And number 35 is just your basic Randall Boggs. Number nine here is Eye Hand, or as he's also known by his real name, Waxford. Remember, he's the one with the shifty eyes, and he's the assistant to Augustus Spike Jones. Number 14 here is CDA agent number one, and again, the one in this screenshot that I have here is the closest design I can find to this. Number 11 is Muscle, aka Marge. You remember the one with Jerry Duty, and Marge is the assistant to Lanky Schmidt. Number seven, we have Two Legs, AKA Harley Gerson, who is a top scare at Monsters, Inc. And then we have Flint, number 20, who we just got to see a lot of in Monsters at Work. Number 16 is Claus, also known as Pete Claus Ward, who is a top scare. For number 29, it's CDA Agent 2, and again, this was the closest design I could spot in the film that even resembles this figure. And for number 2, it's Boo in her monster costume. Number 1 is Arm Guy, also known by his real name, Josh Rivera, who is a top scarer. And Needleman here, who again, we just got to see lots of in Monsters at Work. He is number five. And what's funny is he actually has like a little beard here in this design or like a little scruff, which could have been um, an earlier concept for the character. 34 is Boo, just her basic look with her classic pink nighty. And last but not least, we have Fungus, who is of course Randall's assistant. And he is number 23. This is no doubt the most unique, diverse, and extensive line of all the Monsters, Inc. toys out there, and definitely one of the coolest Monsters collections to boot, even if some of the character designs and names are a little outdated. To me, that's just a total vintage thing, and it makes these that much more fun and classic. Like, them not being perfect makes it feel like there's a bit of history to them, and that these toys were in production before even character designs and names were locked at Pixar. For example, like Needleman having a little beard, and the news anchor wearing glasses, which could have been 11th hour changes to the film there at Pixar. Are. But yeah, no other line of Monsters, Inc. toys to this day has ever come close to releasing this many characters, not to mention the really obscure ones that we've only ever gotten right here. I'm not sure how much the packs originally retailed for, so let me know if you were collecting these back in the day. And remember, I'd honestly love to hear any memories that you have regarding this collection. I'm so looking forward to your comments down below, and if you did enjoy this review, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar merch reviews just like this from my personal collection. Find me all over social media at DanThePixarFan, and I will see you in my next video.